Welcome into today's 810 Rewind, brought to you by the Interurban Lofts Boutique Living in downtown Overland Park. Go to interurbanlofts.com. Royals make a big trade today, and big is relative. They trade off Gerard Dyson for a right-handed pitcher, Nate Carnes. He's coming out of Seattle. Now, you ask yourself, why trade off this piece? I see some frustration, right? Like, Gerard Dyson has been liked in Kansas City. He's been liked for the type of player he's been, and he helped them win a World Series. But this deal does kind of make sense. It's a fourth outfielder for the Royals. They get a backed-in starter in Nate Carnes, a guy who's coming off a bad 2016. But 2015 posted a mid-3 ERA in Seattle. He had a strikeout per nine, which is a number that a lot of people value. And his whip was a little high at 1.4, league average about 1.3. But the deal makes sense because the Royals need another guy to secure this thing down because pitching is going to have to carry this team. Offensively, they should get better this year with Mike Moustakis and Lorenzo Cain hopefully healthy and Alex Gordon hopefully having a comeback year. But they're going to need those guys. And all they're asking Nate Carnes to do is be a back-of-the-rotation guy. Ian Kennedy, Danny Duffy obviously anchoring this thing, Jordano Ventura are still going to be 1, 2, and 3. And Carnes is going to be asked with Dave Island, an excellent pitching coach through all Major League Baseball circles, to keep this guy somewhere near average. Now, by the way, he would have been better than Chris Young, better than Edinson Volquez, better than Chris Medlin, better than the guys they were rolling out there in the 4-5 spot last year. So if you're saying, how do we replace Volquez? This is how. They're looking for a back-end starter. This is the guy. And a couple of years ago, pitched 145 innings. And out of the 4th or 5th spot in the rotation, that should get it done. I'm not saying this is a perfect deal. It's kind of a eh deal, right? I don't love it. I don't hate it either. Like, to give up a fourth outfielder for a guy that can start for the Royals this season means they got a better chance than they did going. With the Billy Burns signing last year, with the trade for O'Brien, with Soler being back with the Royals, there's a plethora of outfielders anyway, and that's why they made a deal like this. I'll miss Mr. Zumbaya just like the rest of us, but that's why the Royals made this deal. This is your A-10 Rewind.